Welcome to the Flash logo bitmap animation provided by masterflash.net. Uh, this video is only a sample video just showing you bits and pieces of what's a part of the actual tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop you in the beginning of part one and then we'll just uh, let it roll out from there. All right, rotating logo based on the document class. This is going to be a really good tutorial. Um, what I've got here is if I test this out, it's calling a document class that uh, I'm going to show you how to set up. And it's pulling in one of my images that is basically just kind of rotating. And it look, it's kind of got the uh, globe feel for when it rotates. And I'm going to show you in a second the uh, image that I have here. All right. So I'm going to bring in my Photoshop. Nothing special here. Um, the image size of this is just for what I needed it for. Is uh, a very wide width and of course you know a short height and the way I'm going to set this action script up you can really use any size image you want I would try to stay away from anything that is um, below 100 pixels for height alright no particular stuff in here I just wanted to show you the uh, width of this now what I've done is I have actually left the left side of this and the right side of this blank and um, why I did that was because if we paste or if I uh, publish this, basically it's running through the entire image, and when you see it about right here, is where it actually switches and it flips to rotate it again. Now we do that based on a time control, and what I did, I just kind of waited for the screen to clear, all right, and then it brings it back around again. Now you can set this to whatever width you want and then of course in the equations that we create inside of the action script, and I'll show you how to do this. You can basically time it to how you want. Now of course if you put you know some textures in here, all right, like for example if you wanted to uh, put like a flat scale uh, of the earth where all the continents are showing like this but more on a uh, wider scale and you create the texture for the time for the image to change the same then what you'll get is basically a free-flowing earth that just kind of uh, rotates around. All right, so nothing special here. I'm just going to uh, X out of this. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of uh, my action script here. I'm just going to get rid of this. All right, I'm going to uh, come back over here into my AS file. I'm going to show you how this uh, works. So I'm just going to control A and delete. All right. Now to set up your document class, we're not going to be using this. We're actually going to program it into our action script. So um, I'm going to bring in my folder here. And what you're looking at is this is where my current file sits. Okay. And in this folder is where I have my action script file that I'm going to be working with. Of course, don't pay any attention to this. This is just uh, one of the testing things that I have some notes on that uh, I'll probably end up applying to the file later on when we're finished. Um, so just remember this, all right? I've got my action script file and the doc underscore class folder, okay? And there it is. So when we go to write our action script on our main timeline here, we basically have to set it up to call this action script file right here, all right? Okay, so of course, you know, if you haven't done this, I'd go ahead and just save, you know, if you want to use the same thing I'm doing here, just get a folder, call it doc underscore class, all right, and save your action script file, and make sure that you keep it like this, because the way that we name this, the way that we name our files is sort of how we call it, and, uh, well, we'll just get started here, and I'll explain this as we go, all right, so I'm just going to grab my first layer right here. In order for us to do this, we basically have to import it. So we're going to say import doc underscore class dot logo underscore rotation, semicolon. All right. So we're basically saying import. All right. Go to this directory. Okay. And then what you're going to be loading is this file name right here. And of course, it knows how to recognize an action, action script file. All right, and of course, you know, if you had more folders inside of this dot class, all you have to do is say, you know, folder one dot folder two dot folder three. All right, just uh, that's how you set it up for going down into your directories. Okay, but we don't need to do that, so I'm going to back out of this. All right, 
So once we set that up, we need to create a variable that will actually throw basically the movie clip that we create out onto the stage. Now it's not necessarily a movie clip, well I guess it sort of is, but uh, we basically have to create a variable name that we can throw it inside of. So let's go ahead and do that by saying var logo underscore mc colon logo underscore rotation. All right, and what we're doing here is we're saying, all right, we're creating this variable and we're referencing, referencing our action script file, okay? So what we wanna say after this is equals new logo, oops, new logo underscore rotation. Opening, opening, closing parentheses, semicolon. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function that will actually throw this out onto the stage. So let's say function show underscore the underscore image underscore on underscore stage. And I know that's a long variable name. We only have to use it one more time. All right, so what we do here is we say opening parentheses event colon event closing parentheses, colon, void, opening bracket, add child, opening parentheses, and we just add our logo MC, all right? Closing parentheses, semicolon, next line, closing bracket. Okay, and now we just need to put the uh, event listener in that'll actually call it. So let's say logo underscore MC dot add event listener, opening parentheses, event dot complete in all capital letters comma show underscore the image underscore on underscore stage all right and that's it okay and i'm going to throw in something in here for now that i'm going to just comment out because i'm going to come back and show you how to set this up later on but uh, let's go ahead and type out logo underscore mc dot and we're just going to set up the x and y axis all right All right, so I'm just gonna comment these out and we'll come around and play with that later. Now, how we do this is based on the actual image size and the bitmap that we set up. So um, this isn't gonna be exactly at 100 and 100, but uh, you'll see what we're doing in a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna get this out of the way here. And let's see. Okay. I'm gonna come into my action script file and we've got a lot of stuff to write here. Um, for starters, we need to import a bunch of flash display, a couple of events, some filters, the geometrics, and uh, just some utils, all right? That is the end of the Flash Logo Bitmap Animation sample video. To find the source files and view the rest of this video tutorial, you can find it on masterflash.net. I hope you enjoy it.